What's going on old school scares and welcome back to the channel and happy holidays. I'm going to talk about two movies that just came out. One's a horror movie uh, and one is a action movie that tinges towards horror. So the first one we'll talk about I saw last week was Violent Night with my wife, uh, David Harbour, John Leguizamo, Beverly D'Angelo. Um, really fun movie. I liked Violent Night quite a bit. Uh, you know, I was trying to give kind of the best way I could describe it. I would say it's a a cross between Home Alone and Die Hard. Um, you know, as I think about the vibe of the movie, it started a little slow to me. I didn't really love the beginning of the movie. I thought it was a little, um, for lack of a better word, a little gross. Um, there's some like, you know, some very, very juvenile humor in the beginning. Uh, you know, bodily function jokes and silly stuff like that as you have our titular Santa, um, you know, just kind of overdoing the job and he doesn't really love it. Uh, the whole premise is, is a young girl, um, her family's kind of in turmoil, they're very wealthy, they get kidnapped by a, uh, a terrorist organization led by John Leguizamo, she's still like a good person, she still believes in Santa, um, Santa happens to be at her house, her dad gives her a walkie-talkie, says, hey, you can talk to Santa, uh, you know, not knowing that Santa was real, she talks to Santa, Santa comes in. Uh, and it becomes an action movie, but it's a really fun action movie, but there's a lot of over-the-top violence and gore. And the only reason I throw this into even a little bit of the horror genre is I kind of talk about, like, the Home Alone vibe, and there's definitely a true-to-life Home Alone, um, but much nastier vibe. It's only probably the, a little bit of the movie. I'm, I'm not spoiling anything. I don't want to spoil anything in these movies because they're brand new. Um, but it was pretty cool, and, and I enjoyed this movie a lot. For me, the good barometer of this movie is my wife, who's not the giantest, you know, action movie fan and loves all this stuff. She she had a great time in the theater. Uh, there's a lot of humor in the movie. There's a lot of heart. Um, you know, David Harbour does a great job. Like, was I'm all is a good bad guy. It's just a fun action slash horror comedy uh, that I think if you go in, uh, you'll have a great time, especially if you see it on the big screen. It's a really fun action movie. And like I said, it really did give me a kind of a, a Die Hard meets um, Home Alone type vibe. So the second movie we'll talk about is um, Christmas Bloody Christmas. Uh, just came out. Uh, it was on Shutter tonight. Brand new movie. Um, this movie, again, was fun. Uh, it was interesting. Again, I was thinking about how I would give a review of this movie. This movie, to me, is a cross between... Um, Terminator and um, The Babysitter, right? So, starring Samara Weaving. Uh, only because of the dialogue. It's very, um, it's like a very, it's very hip dialogue. Um, it's kind of t almost too hip dialogue, especially at the beginning. Uh, but the Santa is, is essentially, it's a robotic Santa. For some reason, the military developed these robots and the best thing people could think to do with them is make them robotic Santas around the country in the malls. And they got recalled because there was an issue. And this one on Christmas Eve night just snaps uh, and attacks and kills this whole whole this whole small town. Um, it's fun. Uh, but again, especially as you get towards the end, it's probably 10 minutes too long. But as you get to the end, this is a 1000% a Terminator movie. Like, there's no ands, ifs, or buts. The Santa is a Terminator robot. Can't be killed. Can't be reasoned with. Uh, you can throw everything at them. Cars, fire, shotguns, tasers. I mean, anything you can imagine, they throw at this robot. Uh, and it just keeps coming. So, 100% a Terminator vibe. So, if you want to see a Christmas Terminator movie, uh, which who the hell doesn't? I thought it was fun. Um, uh, again, a, a movie I enjoy the heck out of. A little too long. A little too amateurish. Um, to be like a great recommend, but still a fun, slight like recommend for you. So on these two movies here, I would tell you, Violent Night, I would give it a good eight out of ten. Super fun movie, maybe a little horror adjacent, uh, more than horror. And then uh, Christmas Bloody Christmas, I would give probably a six out of ten. Fun movie, a little a little unrealistic dialogue, like I said, kind of very similar into that babysitter vein. Um, you know, where it's a little too hip for its own good. Uh, and full on, like I said, by the, by the end of the third act, you're watching a Terminator movie. Uh, but with a whole heck of a lot more gore. Uh, and a, definitely a Christmas theme. So those are our two right there. I hope you have a chance to check them out. Enjoy them if, if you like the holidays like I do. 
love Halloween, but I also, we love Christmas. So really fun to get in and check some of those out. If you haven't done so, so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, stay scary and happy holidays.